Very pleased to be joined for this week's Nissan Insider, Titans quarterback, Will Levis. Will, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Has any part of the entire last eight months, including the football season, gone as you would have expected it to back when you got drafted? No, I mean, I tried not to have any uh, expectations. You know, I, I, I had a mindset of not letting the circumstances and you know, whether personal or team or everything affected how I came into the building and worked every day. So, um, you know, there's always going to be those things that you can never expect. And there's been a lot of those things happen, but I feel like I've kept the right mindset to just be able to roll through them. Looking Levis, throwing deep Levis, trying to get it to Hopkins. He's got it at the five. No! Into the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Throws deep downfield. There's Hopkins all alone. 20, 15, 10, 5, end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, give him 61 yards! Touchdown, Titans! Overall, that Atlanta game couldn't have gone much better. Have you have you ever had a first start at any other level that went that well? No, I mean, that was one of those games where just like all things were clicking and everything in the game plan, you know, the shots that we were dialing it up, uh, they were there and the balls were there and the guys were in the right spots and they made the catches. And, when, when all that clicks, it's a beautiful thing. Well, it was obvious that you checked yourself right after that game. You knew every game wouldn't go that smoothly, and you handled it that way. What in your training led you to know to do that, or did somebody else help to kind of make sure that you did that? Yeah, I think that there's been a lot of people throughout my athletic career that have helped me just with my mental and, and, and with my emotions, especially I think when I was a younger, more immature, uh, player I would let bad things affect me I'd let good things affect me and you got to be able to keep in that neutral space that we talk about and uh, you know I got to thank the coaches here in this building for being those guys for me uh, right now and coach London coach Kelly and, and that we meet with every day in the quarterback room um, they do a good job on the sideline as well just making sure that I'm getting back to neutral you talked about that in training camp some that you were working with mental coaching that you after practice you would do some things to let the bad plays go because that was something you wanted to get better about leading into your pro career. Explain that and t talk about what you've done with that mental sort of part of the game and the coaching and the training you get. I think it's just reaffirming with myself that, you know, bad things are gonna happen. And you turn on any game in the NFL, bad things are gonna happen. You know, the best, the best team in the league is gonna have a three and out. The best offense in the league is, is gonna have turnovers. And, once you accept that and realize that it's just more about how you respond and, and how you're able to overcome those things, you stop fretting about it. So the more ball I watch, the more I understand the game, the more I realized how small a mistake is in the scheme of things, um, and the more I just mature, I think I'm able to be able to handle those situations and move on from them better. We knew here in Ascension St. Thomas Sports Park, even if we're not involved in the draft room and things like this, we had a pretty big feeling that they would try to take you because the Titans really, really liked Will Levis. What do you think they got right about you that allowed them to push forward in that way, make the connection, and then put you in a position to be successful as a rookie? I think they just saw my competitiveness, um, my drive, uh, my spirit, but I'm glad that the, the Titans were able to see kind of my true true me. Uh, the tape speak, speaks for itself, obviously. They, they liked what I do as a player at the bare minimum. Um, obviously, but it, I think they just saw through and realized who I am as a person. They really got to know you. Is that fair to say? For sure. Yeah, I mean, they, they checked all the boxes. They, they visited with me more than anybody else. I I'd had as many meetings with them um, as a lot of other teams combined, you know? So I knew that they were interested and they wanted to, you know, poke and prod and understand me at a deep level, which I thought was really great because um, they you know, were taking me seriously. and. and they wanted me to potentially be here as a, as a guy that could lead this team. Okay, let's go. They know coming. Who cares? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good drive. Good drive. We're going to get another shot here right quick. We're going to get it tightened up. Get this going. Let's go. Just need one score. Just need one score. What would Will Levis of today tell the Will Levis of draft night when you're sitting in that green room that you wish that Will Levis would have known that night. What would help him? That he's not getting picked in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> At least I could have, would have saved me some stress, some time maybe, no, but. Um, <laughs> That's good. No, I would tell him to, you know, just trust the process and that this is what was meant for you. And despite it kind of feeling as screwy as it did when it, when it did all happen, that, uh, you know, a couple months from now, you're gonna realize that you're in the right spot 
and uh, that the people, you're here because the people want you and they love you. And um, that would have kept me at ease. I definitely thought I had a little bit jacked up mindset when it was first happened at that time, but I was able to, to flip it there pretty soon after, but um, could have gone, or could have at least um, gained a few hours of sleep that night if I was able to get my mind um, a little more clear. Well, we're thrilled you're here. Uh, it is so much fun watching you play at Titans fans all over. Excited about the rest of this year. We're not giving up anything, but certainly excited about what's to come. Will Levis, thank you so much for the Thanks time. Thanks so much, Mike. All right.